In this video, we're going to take a look at the wishlist member dashboard page. Now, this is a sort of a snapshot of your entire membership site, access to important information, and so forth. So the big thing that you're going to see right off the top uh, on the left-hand side here is your membership stats. So this is kind of giving you a snapshot of your membership. You'll see down here, we'll kind of start down here. You're going to see all of your different membership levels listed. You're going to see who's in each particular membership level. And so that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on in that regard. And then over here, you're going to see a, a number of different stats that are sort of aggregated. So for example, over here, we see all users. We can see this site has uh, two total users. And then it's broken down between members and non-members. So essentially... The difference is a member is going to be someone who has a membership level, any membership level inside of wishlist member. That membership level can even be canceled because it's still sort of attached to them. It's just in a canceled status. Okay, so anybody who has a membership level is going to be considered a member. And then anybody on your site that doesn't have a membership level is going to be considered a non-member. So on this particular site, the, the two users on the site are both admin users. We're not actually members of the site in terms of, of being part of a membership or whatever. And so we're considered non-members. Now, the useful part of that is is it sort of helps you to to get a snapshot of, of what's going on with your site. You know, so sometimes I, I've seen this since maybe a, a little bit older of an issue, but you may have people who find some way to sign up to your site without actually going through a uh, wishlist member going through that registration process. Maybe they're leaving comments or, or things along those lines. Um, maybe you have it attached to a public blog or something along those lines. You're going to get a snapshot and be able to see, hey, why do I have all of these uh, non-members that are, that are a part of my site? And you can click through and you can see those people and then you can easily get rid of them or do whatever you need to do there. So that's sort of the idea behind here. You can see all the users who are actually members registered through Wishlist member, who are non-members and so forth. And then the rest of these sort of are, I, I, I think, kind of uh, become a little bit more obvious. So then you have how many active members you have. Again, this is aggregated. Um, so as long as they have one active level, they'll be considered uh, an active member. How many are canceled? Uh, from from any level expired needs approval and un unconfirmed. Okay, so this is uh, if you have admin approval turned on. This is you have email confirmation turned on. Now the the numbers themselves, you know, there's certain utility there. But the big thing is is that let's say this needs approval here. Now this has zero, but if we had some, I could click through into here, and what this will do is it will actually take me to the members tab and it'll do the, the search for me. So you can see new needs approval uh, is the search here. It'll show me all of the members that need approval. And now I can go through here and just approve them. Uh, the same thing with unconfirmed, expired, canceled. When you click on these, that's become when they become really useful because now you can get an, a search and get those exact members to show up in a list and you can do what you need to do with them. It's the same down here. If you click on the gold here, it will take you to all members. It'll take you to a, the members tab with all a, a search for all of the members of the gold level or the trial level or whatever level you click. If you click on these numbers, that's going to take you to anybody who's a member of the gold level and is also an active status or canceled status you know, or uh, uh, expired, uh, needs approval and unconfirmed. So you could do it on a level by level basis here. So that's where this get becomes very, very useful here is when you actually click on these uh, to do what you need to do to manage and administer your site. You can also search for users here, the search box here. Uh, if you need to search for a particular users right here on the dashboard. And then over on the right hand side, we of course have links to uh, support area tutorials, help docs. Uh, if you need to contact support or if you're interested in the API, we have all of that here. We have our update section here. Now I purposely installed an older version of Wishlist Member just to be able to show you this. So this is what it will look like when you have uh, an upgrade available. You can either download it uh, and upload it via P uh, FTP or you can click the upgrade button here. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, the upgrade button here. And as you'll see here, what this did is it downloaded the update, it unpacked, installed, 
it, it updated the plugin and then it reactivated it. So we the one click upgrade uh, is really the easiest way to do this. So then we can return back to wishlist member to the dashboard page and now we will see that we no longer have uh, an update available because we've upgraded to the latest version. Of course, you can always click this check for updates button to do a manual check if you want, but we sort of check it periodically uh, to keep this up to date for you. All right, next is the license information. So you'll see your license key here that you've activated for this site. You can deactivate the license on this, just to make a distinction here, this doesn't deactivate the plugin itself, it just deactivates the license for this particular site. So maybe you're on a, a local, doing some sort of local development for the site, or you're using uh, a domain that's not going to be your actual live production doma domain, and you're ready to move from your test site or your demo site to your actual live site, uh, and you need to move the license, you can go into your demo site and you can deactivate the license there and now that license key uh, or that license is freed up for you to then install it on your production site and so forth. So that's what this can be useful for. And then of course we have the getting started wizard here which we'll go through in another video. So that's the dashboard page again. It gives you a snapshot of your membership site, also gives you quick access to some of the things that you would need in terms of support and updates, license information, uh, and that sort of thing.